Priti Patel likened the Brexit negotiations to a high-stakes poker game, as she insisted the government could not reveal its hand before triggering the process to leave the EU, unearthed reports reveal. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier criticised the UK for the lack of progress in post-Brexit talks, as the two sides concluded their fourth round of talks on Friday. The French diplomat accused Prime Minister Boris Johnson of backtracking on the commitments made in the political declaration, which includes the level playing field, fisheries, foreign policy and defence, as well as police and judicial cooperation. He said of the agreement, it will remain for us the only valid reference, the only relevant precedent in this negotiation. That was agreed by both sides. Yet, round after round, our British counterparts seek to distance themselves from this common basis. However, his British counterpart, David Frost, appeared to downplay the significance of the document signed by Mr Johnson, telling journalists afterwards that something being mentioned in the document doesn't mean that everything in the declaration must go into a legally binding treaty. Because of the deadlock, many are now urging the government to extend the transition period at the end of the month, but Downing Street insists it will not do so, therefore raising the chances of a no-deal divorce at the end of the year. As uncertainty continues, unearthed reports shed light on Priti Patel's unique insight into the Brexit negotiations. In 2017, the now Home Secretary, revealed why former Prime Minister Theresa May was reluctant in revealing the government's Brexit strategy, despite MPs demanding a vote on the negotiating plan before Article 50 was invoked. Speaking on the BBC's Andrew Marr show, Ms Patel explained, If I were to sit down and play poker with you this morning, I'm not going to show you my cards before we even start playing the game. She stressed that debates were happening every day in the Commons and the government would have been held to account by a new Brexit select committee. She added, We look at everything that happens in Parliament and obviously the debates that are taking place now and the debates that people are alluding to as well.